welcome to my kitchen. This is Christmas time again, and today uh, I already show you how to do baklava. But today I'm going to show you how to do the individual rolls. In Greek, they call cigars. Okay? There are two types I'm going to show you. Okay? So I got about two cups of almonds already chopped. I'm going to put one, one, about a one fourth of sugar. Just white sugar is fine. I'm going to put about one third of a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. Okay. I I took the uh, the zest of an orange and I chopped it real fine. And I'm going to put about I don't know about um, two three tablespoons of cognac, the real nice Greek cognac. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of cognac. And then we're going to put about a, a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, okay? And then, uh, we already took this, uh, the zest of the orange, but we're going to put uh, about the whole orange. We're going to put the juice inside as well. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to mix it all up. We're going to mix it all up, make it nice and even. And then we're going to roll them. Now, we already have our... Uh, a pan here and here we have butter we must use butter for this recipe okay so we, we put the butter on on our pan okay like that have it all butter okay and this is all evened up mixed along evened up and here we have the filo like I said you just go to the supermarket and buy any kind of filo this is president's choice you can buy the Crino, you can buy the Greek, whatever you like, whatever you have uh, close by you, okay? So we're going to take about two, three fillers, okay? We're going to work with two, three fillers. Like I told you before, you must always have the damp cloth over it, okay, to keep it nice and moist because it gets dry very easily. But don't be afraid, it's easy to work with, okay? So we're going to separate these fillers again. We're going to do one each time, right? And then we're going to put the butter on, right? Butter, butter, butter. Okay. You can use a little bit of butter. You don't have to use a lot. You can use margarine. You know, you don't, you don't like the butter, you can use margarine. In Greece, we used to use olive oil. So it's good. But anyway, here, maybe we're just going to use uh, a little bit of butter. We don't have to use a lot. We must butter each each fill, okay? Each fill you have we have to butter it. Butter. Nice the edges too. You butter the edges too to keep it nice and moist. Alright? Then the last fill. Okay. Alright. Then we take our, our mixture and we put it all the way like a little nice little line okay nice little line like that all right. All right. so we take this okay we take the edges and we put them right there we must put a little bit of butter to keep them nice and moist okay okay then as tight as you can, as tight, tight as you can, okay? Tight, tight as you can, you roll them. Make sure you roll them nice and even, okay? Once you do the first one, then it's quite easy to do, okay? All right. When we come towards the end, we put a little bit more butter, okay, like that, and we bring them, because that will seal them. To be able to be nice and neat, we have to cut the edges off, okay? Cut the edges off. We don't throw them away, though. We use them to the, the next one. Okay. Now, I'm going to put them on my, on my um, board because I don't want to scratch my top, okay? Now, you can cut it straight or you can cut it like, uh, edge-wise, okay? Whatever you like. So I'm going to cut it like an edge-wise. Okay, so now I cut them and before I put them in my pan, I take my brush and I brush the edges, 
okay? That way, that way it will keep the, uh, the mixture in and it will be nice and neat. Now I'm going to show you another, another way to do the cigars, um, the rolls uh, of baklava, okay? So I butter six to seven uh, filo. Remember I told you we don't throw nothing away? Okay, this is from the other ones I left. I'm going to put it off like this. Okay, then I'm going to take my mixture again and I'm going to put it a little bit heavier this time, okay? Now it's a little bit heavier than, than the last one. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to bring it down like that. You notice how big it is? This is going to be bigger. Now we're finished with the help of Nula. We finished. And we did three kinds of little cigars. Don't you like the name? I love it. This is with four filos. This is with seven filos. And these little ones are with two, okay? And this is with seven again. As, as you see, this is cut smaller, but it has more uh, the inside, the almonds and that. Now, before we put them in the oven, we're gonna take more butter and just put a little bit over it, okay? Just what can I say? These things, they need a little extra butter, okay? So instead of having two, three, we just have one and a half, okay? <laughs> then you put the butter on like that, all over. You have your oven put uh, at the temperature. My oven, it cooks nice and slow. This will cook for 20 minutes at 325. Now, you know your oven better than I do. You got to put it in a low temperature and let it cook for 20 minutes till they're nice, a golden brown. We put our uh, little cigars, our pura, in the oven for about half an hour and they, they become a nice golden color, right? It's very nice. Now we need to put the syrup on. Now, this is cold and my syrup is warm, okay? So with a, a big spoon, you just go over it and then pour the syrup on like this. Make sure it goes all over. Okay? Put it all over. Now don't be afraid if you think it's a lot of syrup. You will drink it up. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to let it sit like this for about 20 minutes. And then with a big spoon, I'm going to turn them. Okay, I'm going to turn them like that so till they drink all the syrup. I'm going to leave them in the pan till tomorrow. And that's it. Happy eating. Thank you.